Elizabeth Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can clearly see from the title, I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. Just a little disclaimer though, I'm in no way, shape, or form good at makeup. This is just what I do every day. I tell myself it looks good and I tell myself it's okay, but um, if you want an actual good makeup YouTuber, go hit up my girl Courtney Ashley. She's my best friend and she has a YouTube channel as well where she does awesome makeup, which I could never do in a million years. So I'm gonna link her channel down below if you guys wanna go check her out for like actual makeup purposes. But I'm just gonna show you guys what I usually do every day or not really every day, but just if I'm, you know, doing normal things, not going all fancy. I'm gonna wash my face real quick and put on some moisturizer and I'll come back to you guys when I'm done. Clearly, as you can tell, um, I'm not doing too well. So I'm gonna go wash my face, put on some moisturizer, and I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm back, my face is moisturized, and I went ahead and wet my beauty blender as well so I wouldn't have to get up again. Gotta do what you can to be as lazy as possible, am I right? So first, I'm gonna go in with my primer. I either use the Makeup Forever, which is what I'm going to use today, or I use the Benefit Professional. I have to say I like Benefits a lot more. It's just about pricing. I actually got this primer um, from an Ipsy bag. So it was a little more beneficial for me to be using this than it was to go buy another primer. So you gotta use what works with you. Next up, and my most important part of my everyday makeup routine is my foundation slash CC cream. I've heard so many good things about the IT Cosmetics CC cream, but I've never wanted to spend the money on it. This is a color corrector, and as well as an anti-aging hydrating serum. It's color correcting, it's full coverage, and it's SPF 50. I know a lot of people have different foundations that they use for different things, but I use this when I'm going somewhere fancy. I use this if I'm just going to Target. Like, I use this every day. This is genuinely an everyday occurrence for me. On days where I just go run errands, I usually will put on like a light coverage. It really works very well. So already you can tell that there's a huge difference in my face. It not only color corrected and made my face not so red, but it provided coverage so like the little pimples that I have aren't directly screaming at me anymore. I highly recommend this product. So next, I go in with my concealer. The concealer that I've been using for a while now is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, which works really well for me. It's a drugstore concealer and it works perfect for me, so. So now I just blend all of my concealer in. with my beauty blender, of course. Which, I don't know if I've been getting tanner or I don't know how because I genuinely don't go outside. Um, but this is looking a little pale when it hasn't really before, so I'm a little concerned, but it's going to be okay. Oh, also forgot to mention that I did put on chapstick earlier, so my lips were like a little smoother than normal because I really have dry lips. I have dry everything, it's not good. I left my makeup brush in my room, be right back. <sighs> okay, great, I'm back. I didn't even know that this was a step in the makeup game, but my friend Courtney, the one who has that YouTube channel linked down below, she taught me a lot of things about makeup. Pretty much everything that I'm talking about, I learned from her. So I didn't realize that you were supposed to set your face so I got this Derma Blend setting powder from Ulta when they were having their like 25 days of beauty or whatever. And I'm not sure how to judge if a powder is good or if it's not good. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that it works for me, but I could probably find a lot that work better for me. But also please don't judge like what I'm doing because I don't know what I'm doing, I think. I think that you just, I think that you just put it under your eyes. Right? 
I'm pretty sure that you just put the setting powder under your eyes for it to like bake for your concealer. And I think that you put it all over your face too. I don't really know, I do it anyway. Oh, setting powder all over my lap. And I mean all over. So I think that, ew. I think that you just leave this on here for a little bit. So I'm, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's why I said earlier, I am not here to teach you how to do makeup. I'm just here to show you guys how I do my own. Please don't take anything I'm doing and do it on yourself. I don't wanna be responsible for the danger. So while this setting spray is baking, I'm gonna go ahead and do my bronzer. I use two different bronzers. I use the Becca bronzer, which I got from the Lauren Elizabeth subscription box, if you guys know who she is. And that one works really well and I love it, but I don't know where it is right now. So I have the Tarte, I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. I bought this whenever, a long time ago, whenever Tarte was having a sale and I had never gotten bronzer before. So I was like, I'll just buy some bronzer. And as you can clearly tell, I do use it fairly often. See, like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I, I just watch Courtney and then I do my own. Like, that's it. Maybe I should follow one of her tutorials for a video. Um, comment down below if you guys would be interested in that because I feel like it would be hilarious. I'm also pretty sure that I should have already wiped off the setting powder, but um, honestly, my motto is just go with it. So I was like, did I just copy that from Nike? But that's just do it, so. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much bronzed up, whatever that means. I'm going to, it just, it, it has like more on it. I'm scared. I don't know what's going on. I don't, mom, can you come pick me up? Cause I have no clue what I'm doing anymore. Okay. So I think that I did that. Okay. I bronzed my face. That's over with. Now it's time to highlight. I have the Fenty Beauty highlight, but it just doesn't do it for me. And don't get me wrong. My sister's obsessed with it, but it's not good for me. Like it doesn't show up on my face. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong, but like it's just not a good time. I got this highlighter in my Ipsy bag and I've only used it once, but I was so amazed by the way it turned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a try today. This will potentially be my new favorite one because Fenty is just not working out. Oh yeah. See, Fenty Beauty doesn't do anything like this. See, like, I'm not going all out with the highlighter and the bronzer. I could obviously do a lot more highlight, but this is just like my everyday running to the grocery store, running errands. So I'm not gonna be dramatic about it. But now it is time for the brows. So I use Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder and I am gonna be honest, I never was the one to do anything to my brows. I would just kind of brush them, put some brow gel on it and call it a day. But I noticed that my eyebrows, they have a great shape. They just don't, they aren't filled in. Like they're very spacey in some areas. So I went ahead and went with this brow powder. I'm gonna go do my brows and come back to you because I can't focus. Okay, so now my brows are done. I kept the same shape that they normally are. I just went ahead and filled in mostly right here um, to give it that extra. So then for my eyeshadow, I don't usually wear any eyeshadow unless I'm doing something fancy, but I do like to put on just a simple like transitioning shade, if that's the word. <laughs> If Courtney's watching this, she's gonna pee. I like to put on just one shade. I don't like to like put anything on my lid, just something to blend it in a little bit to make my makeup not look so, I don't know. But I use the Jaclyn Hill palette, the old one, and I go in with either one of these two colors. Um, you can see that they've clearly been used, especially this one, so that's probably which one I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna put it in my crease first, just to make it easier to blend. 
flipper jacks i forgot to put on eyeshadow primer but that's okay because i'm not really doing anything on my lid so scratch that we're good that's about the extent of it i literally just put a little bit on and just kind of blend it all over the place that way there's still some color to it but it's not dramatic and it can be used for everyday purposes i think i was supposed to like put setting powder on or something i don't i don't know and last but not least we are going to be using the better than sex mascara by Too faced a lot of youtubers have come out and said that it's their favorite and don't get me wrong it's a really good mascara it just it isn't what I thought it would be, I guess I'll say. But like, it does the job wonderfully, so I'm not going to complain. But it is good. See, tell me why this eye came out good and this one looks like a baby doll. Like, I'm genuinely scared. Look at this eye, and look at this eye. Like, what? <laughs> I'm not happy right now, and I'm not happy at all. Well, I guess I'm just gonna leave this eye looking like a baby doll and this eye looking regular. This just describes my makeup in a nutshell. Last but not least, I'm going to put this Lip Shine Nourishment um, lip gloss on or lipstick or chapstick, whatever the word is. It's by Aveda and I don't wear lipstick ever, but I do like to put this on just to give my lips an extra little pop so they're not looking like this. Okay, that is pretty much it. You're looking at the final product. I am going to spray some setting spray on my face right now to finish it up. But other than that, I think that is it. If you guys liked how I attempted this makeup routine, go ahead and make sure to give this video a like. Make sure if you're not already subscribed, you hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to turn on those post notifications so that you know when I post next. Hope you guys enjoyed getting to know what kind of products I put on my face. If you guys want to see a chit chat get ready with me where I put the same makeup on but I kind of like do a Q&A or talk to you guys, let me know in the comments down below as well. I would love to do something like that. I just don't know if I have enough people to ask me questions. So other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video.